SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, you fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again! Wait, was that last part really necessary? Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. To create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. They'll be much bumpier, too. For you. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh, yes, I think he called them. What was the word? I. What did he call them? Samantha.
sticky sweet. Giggle Buddies, both of you listen closely. I managed to track Spot's trails, but they are scattered everywhere and are leading to- Whoa, Spot is really going places. I said listen! You have to look for him in all those worlds you're going to. You're the only one- Don't worry, Plankton. We'll look everywhere for him and- Good! Now out of my sight! <laughs> They call them stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. You think Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel. Oh, I know. Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. I have to admit, totally would have expected someone bigger for the part. But everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous! Film is starting one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Uh, script up. Uh, 55. Uh, just hurry up! Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind, or the understanding kind, or the kind kind. I can't believe this is the leading man. Let's take some pictures to capture this screen man. Wow, they're taking photos of us. Are we in the movie? Oh, do I look bloated enough? I just had myself excited. <laughs> Restricted zone. No or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. Oh, 
Oh boy, that is one big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, it'll be fine. Sticky sweet. cage next to that guy. Oh, you mean that big mean-looking guy that won't stop looking at us? Great. Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob. What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. 
Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? Ha. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at 9, uh, 8, uh, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty! Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. Fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame! And action! In the scene, you must fight your way through gang infested city, your way through gang. And action! What squirt of an actor did the. In the scene, you must. And action! Would you just defeat those jelly gangs?
beautiful bubble. I want to pop it. You can't. It is indestructible magic thanks to the jelly you're collecting from my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the Jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the Jelly whispered that you've done some... commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cass... We're so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. Ew. wanted to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film! But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick! Karate kick it! Now, to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving. I say we wah, kick things off. <laughs> Patrick, thank you.
get count on you, Patrick. Oh, no, not these guys again. Correct. 